What's up guys, today I'm going to be screen recording me play Door Slammers 2. This game is available on iOS and Google Play. I've been playing this game for years. It seems like recently it just started to blow up more. I guess because it's the off season, people can practice on the tree or play with their friends. I've probably spent about two, three hundred dollars on this game in the past four or five years. I got a car for everything. I got like over a hundred cars. Uh, Radio vs. The World, X275, Ultra Street, a lot of no prep. This is one of my many no prep cars, which is really dialed in. So I'm gonna go over the setup a little bit without giving out too much. Got the big block, aluminum heads, billet crank, forced induction pistons, it's a hydraulic roller. Some other stuff, twin turbo. tube chassis the four link no wheelie bars I don't do the wheelie bars on this game I got a 33 by 15 slick a nice v-series just go over everything that I got going on I'm not gonna give the instant center that's something I worked on for a while I can't just give it up alcohol 373 gears you gotta turn that tune up a little bit yeah meet god these guys love double bobbing in this game So all these races are no prep, eighth mile. Shoo. Eighth mile, no prep, pro mod, steel body, whatever. That's a pro mod as you can see with the blower. and easy so the reason why i got on the game this day was i saw on instagram that sim abc xyz was going to be on no prep eighth mile and that's what i do so i got in the lobby to try to line up with them and i got a chance to those that don't know sim he's got a youtube channel he's the one that does all like the street outlaw review videos and goes over all the no prep and street racing news pretty good channel check it out a young boy, pretty cool guy. So it's a shame I gotta do this to him. I'm actually surprised. I'm not gonna be going over any times or anything, but he wasn't that far off from me. subscribe button for me it means a lot if there's anybody out there that enjoyed these kind of videos with the door slammers let me know and uh, I'll make it like a regular thing
looks like Team Shipbox's old car on big tires and wheelie bars. He jumped, but I still almost came around him up top. This run right here against like a pro nitrous class car is instant green. Now everybody loves to guess at this on this game. And you'll see what happens. to run it back with this guy look at my car and you look at his it just looks like he would win but once again double bulbing I wonder if he can go without red light that's a no here's a different pro mod nitrous car pro tree this time but still double bulbs and I didn't realize it until I seen the timer counting down see I don't know if you guys see that on the barrier but that's the rock Rockingham dragway where Dig or Die was just held. It's pretty cool to have this track in the game. This game's actually came a long way. When I first started playing the first one, the very first one, like five years ago, the quality looked horrible. You couldn't do anything. They didn't even have wheels. Going back on the street for a little no prep eighth mile action with another pro mod, nitrous car. They must love getting beat by this steel body car. And he jumps. I still try to run him down. I'm gonna run it back. This race right here is pretty funny to me. I accidentally entered a bracket style race, eighth mile, with a dollar of 620. And uh, the car is way faster than that. So I figured, eh, I'll try it out anyway. And it's funny what actually happens. So I go in, everything's going good. I figured, I know I'm gonna have to let off right in the middle at the 8th mile to get anywhere close to a 620 and I didn't know until the race was over but the guy actually red lit and I'm going to show this time slip I'm going to run this one out to the quarter mile and see what happens I mean, look at this guy. He's already in the bulbs, on the trans brake, and I'm still backing up. And you can see it's tapped out in high gear right now, all the way to the quarter.
it's a close one right here. You can see he red lit though. Would have been real close if he didn't. It looks like I went early, but it says he red lit. They're right here. See, it looks like he was coming pretty hard. Just not enough room. We got Kai Kelly.
off with your head. That's his name. That's funny, he even did the Memphis practice launch. that's going to wrap it up as you can see the Camaro cannot be beat that's no skipping ahead that's all consecutive runs in a row leave a comment if you liked it or didn't like it I'm just trying something out but until then have a good one enjoy your day